beautiful morning in Calgary. Hello. Yes. It's clear skies. I'm gonna go back to Toronto where it's blizzard and and uh, Arctic blast. But I'm prepared. You see, I got my Inuit Parker here. All right. So who am I? I'm known as Frost Flow. It's Marcelino Costa, founder of the Ground Illusions Crew. I also represent Unity Charity and Blueprint for Life from Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And I'm an artist educator, uh, a b-boy of 17 years. And I just love art in general and sharing knowledge. So that's a little bit about myself. So, what is my aha moment? I'd say there has been several throughout my life. Um, one of them I remember being in high school and seeing the cypher breakout. A lot of my old elementary school um, colleagues were thrown down. This was about 1997 and much music was really big showing hip hop and I remember seeing that and being like, oh, I wish I could do that. And uh, eventually I started getting into it. A very good friend of mine passed away. His name is Enhart Tangis. 1997 as well and uh, it really encouraged me to do something for myself and find my identity and have fun and, and mourn in a healthy way that was an aha moment another one had something to do with um, me actually sharing knowledge within my city of Mississauga there was a moment where I, I recognized that sharing knowledge was such a, a joyous and gratifying thing mutually between people that you share with and being the sharer I love that experience, that transformation, that whole um, epiphany that's shared between people. And that was my aha moment. And I have that aha moment every time I share. So every time I'm teaching, I always recognize and remember how important it is to share. Um, I feel that what I'm doing is a blessing and I'm very thankful for it. Art is a very powerful thing in this world. So it's always my aha moment every time I dance and hear the music. <laughs> what does an artist mean to me? And what does the idea of a canvas, the concept of canvas mean to me? Um, being a dancer, um, you have to become the visual of the music. You have to represent and embody the music. Someone who is even deaf or hard of hearing who may not um, catch sound the same way someone who can hear very well does. Um, you can be able to see the music through your body. I really believe that being an artist is sharing your passion, sharing your experience, sharing your culture, sharing your tradition. It's about growing. I really believe um, art is the internal things which make us human. Um, that type of expression isn't a language that is, um, it isn't really necessarily defined within textbooks in a manner that is um, technical. I think the true essence of art is more of a spiritual and emotional one. And um, of course there's foundation in everything, but I really feel that um, being a canvas is this open experience where you're free to be you, and it's that experience of you growing to be you throughout this life. There's so many different things that we experience that take us away from who we really are and the purpose of life is to understand who you really are and find who you really are and share that with other people and encourage them to be who they are as well. So I, I believe that being an artist and being a canvas is that whole experience and that process of you discovering yourself and allowing other people to discover themselves. That's why you can have thousands of people in a concert sing the same song together because they can relate mutually. So you can have people in a cipher together exchange the words from different languages. That's a beautiful thing. It's very important to our existence as human beings. How would I define purpose and passion in my life? I would define purpose and passion in my life as um, really truly understanding what it is that drives you, motivates you, and um, allows you to grow to be the best version of you. Anything that you discover in your life that allows you to bring up those best parts of you and to accept yourself and others. Um, 
I really feel that that's the definition of understanding your purpose and, and your passion in your life. You know, what is it that cultivates you? What is it that allows you to progress? What is it that allows you to grant that experience for other people? So I, I believe art is a great avenue for that. I believe art is, is, is innate within all of us. Um, I mean, the heartbeat is the original drum. So if you think about it in that way, we are beautiful songs and we exist in this life to you know, affect each other and move with each other and be in each other's rhythm and be in each other's space. Whether positive or negative, there's complete balance there and we all grow in the end. So I believe that's the definition of purpose and passion and how that affects me is music is such a deep part of my life and movement and sharing the experience of dance and movement and the, and the process of growing as an individual physically, emotionally and spiritually and all with all its ups and downs, with all its uh, successes, glories, mistakes and everything. Um, my whole experience as a person, as an artist embodies that as I move along this life with everything that's happened to me, both positive and negative. So. Um, yeah, I share as much as I can, and that kind of defines my purpose. If it was one thing that I can share or teach the world to make it a better place, I think I would really share consideration be considerate of ourselves, of the people around us. It's so easy for us not to be considerate of, of ourselves and the ones around us when this world is so full of distraction and, and uh, we distract ourselves from the truth of everything. We get away from love, we get away from you know, true intention, we get, we get fearful of everything. So when we're considerate of ourselves and we give ourselves patience and um, give ourselves understanding and respect, that really helps things to become better. It keeps from wars, it keeps from people really, you know, causing each other deep problems. And also at the same time, this world is duality, this world is balance. So you can't have the positive without the negative. You can't have the negative without the positive. But in the end, light always beats the darkness. You know, love always conquers hate. And if we're considerate of that and then the true nature of things, which is very vital. And um, I think we can make it. So let's all try to be considerate, y'all. Let's try our best, regardless of what's the ha ha what has happened in the past or whatever you think might happen in the future. Let's just be considerate of ourselves and each other. And we can do it. Okay. So any last words for us? I would say um, a little encouragement goes a very long way. Very important to remember that because how you encourage somebody to change their life, they might have their aha moment and they may realize that the imprint that you've, you've put on their canvas is a vital part of their story and everyone's got a story. So remember to be encouraging, to be considerate, to show mad love and patience for yourself and for others and um, you know, that's great wisdom. And that wisdom is not for me, that wisdom is from everybody that I've encountered and has shared with me and been patient, considerate with me, and respectful of me and my space with them. So I have to make sure that, you know, I stay humble and you guys stay humble and understand that you got to encourage each other. This is the only way. Alright. Peace. Frost Flow. Ground Illusions Crew. Representing Conscious Souls as well. Unity Charity. Group Come for Life. Everybody across the world, much love and peace, alright? I pop all day, every day.